most common mental illness that would occur after a brain injury is, is depression, which can occur depending on the study from anywhere to 20 to 60 percent of individuals after traumatic brain injury. It can occur in the first few months, but it can even occur, you know, months or even studies have shown years after the, the actual traumatic brain injury. Why is it more, more common? You know, we don't know. It may be that the areas of the brain that get injured are those that are more involved in producing depression. And certainly some studies show a correlation between the area of the brain that's injured and then subsequent, uh, subsequent depression. Um, it could be that the chemical systems involved, the neurotransmitters involved um, during brain injury that get disrupted um, affect mood more than maybe some other behaviors. Well, we have to appreciate that depression is a common disorder and it's one of the most common psychiatric disorders. Um, so certainly depression can be as a result of physiologic dysfunction of areas of the brain. But we also know that other things make individuals depressed whether or not they've had a traumatic brain injury. So being in a traumatic circumstance, having loss of certain functions, having problems with your social system and support, being unemployed, being in chronic pain, all can produce depression in addition to the effects of having the brain injury.